the TH sound is much easier than students realize. And I think one of the main issues that I see students doing that prevents them from creating a clear and natural TH is that they do too much. And I think that it's learned or taught behavior because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos or I've gotten feedback from my students where their teachers are telling them to make this very exaggerated tongue movement and really actually stick their tongue between or outside of their teeth like this. Right, so this is not how you make a TH. It looks very unnatural and it doesn't sound clear at all. You never see a native speaker talking like this, right? So, how do you make the sound? Well, there's only two things that you need to do. The first thing is you need to power your voice like an American. So what that means is bring the voice from inside the body using your diaphragm to push the air up through your lungs through the pathway of the voice. The second part is to just change the shape of the air as it's passing or exiting out of the mouth. And you do this by very, very lightly. Again, I emphasize, very, very lightly placing the tip of your tongue behind the front, top, and bottom teeth. So it looks like this. Or voiced. Notice how you can only see a little tiny piece of my tongue, right? There's only a small piece of pink space. and the contact is very, very soft. So all I'm doing is driving my voice forward, uh, and then changing the shape as it comes out. Uh, 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 uh. Right, I'm not going thuh, 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 thuh. And it's very important to make sure that that contact with the tongue and the teeth is as soft as possible. One mistake I see students doing is that sometimes they do keep their tongue behind their teeth, but they're making this really hard contact, strong contact, as if they were trying to create or power or energize that TH from this part of the mouth. Remember, your voice comes from inside your body in American English. So you don't want to do something that's really, really strong like this. Right? That doesn't sound natural at all. And it's really difficult and it's going to be really hard to slide in between sounds in the way that American speakers do. So remember, power the voice from inside the body using pathway of the voice and softly place the tongue behind the top and bottom teeth to change the shape of the air so that it goes through the outsides of the mouth, not down the middle. The, the, the. The brother, brother, together, together, father, father. There's their brother together with their father. There's their brother together with their father. So that's how it works. Now that you know this, you can start working on it. I recommend using your camera so you can see what's happening in your mouth. And now that you know this, you just boosted up your English.